Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to yet another episode of Pokemon Violet. I'm still going. We have uh, that Ace Tournament, Ace Academy Tournament, or whatever they decided to call it. We still got the the that to take care of. However, I need to turn off and on my microphone. This is disorientating. Okay, that should be better. Yeah, that's better for now. Okay, as I was saying, I was doing some shopping and then I realized something. Uh, this is some kind of chancy place. I've gotten these mints before. Chancy supply. There's an ability capsule in here. It's expensive, as far as I know. But yeah, you can change abilities with this. That's cool. So they still have that. And then I was staring at these and I realized these mints change your Pokemon's nature. I thought they had to do like I, I know I've been picking them up throughout my playthrough, but I didn't actually think about it. I thought these had to do with EVs. Like this adamant mint. I thought it would give you attack EVs, but lower your special attack EVs or something like that. This no, it, it just straight up changes your nature. So yeah, you can just catch whatever you want and then pay to get the nature you want. And then you also have your uh, other stuff. There's something else that I want to clarify. It has to do with the judge function in the PC. No, it was already up. So I had it wrong. This Flamigo, for example, the shiny one I caught. Best is 31 IV. Fantastic is 30 IV. That's, I had them confused. I was checking out this Dragonite that I caught that was level 55, 75 I mean. It's pretty good. It would be better if, you know, the attack stat was best. But, you know, you take what you get. Not that I actually tried to farm for it or anything. Speed, special attack, attack, they're all best. That's great. Some of these are pretty good starters. I also caught uh, the most generic Zorark you could ever find. And then there was a Glaceon, is this the one? Yeah. I mean, it has a 30 in defense, it's almost perfect. And it's modest. So yeah, I went through all of the Pokemon. There were some interesting ones. I noticed the earlier ones, like that level 25 Growlithe, they only have two stats that are best. This one. But the later ones, like the, you know, uh, Dragonite that I was just showing off, they have three stats. And then if you're lucky, four. So, I guess that's pretty good odds. Oh, and specifically, these are for the, the wild Terra Pokemon, not the Dens, but the ones that are just out in the wild, you know? I have not been to this side of the desert, I don't think. We're not going to explore that, though. I'm just taking a peek. I think that's the normal color of Rufflet. It's nighttime, so it looks a little darker. I don't know what a shiny Rufflet looks like, to be honest. I don't know what a lot of shiny Pokemon look like. I don't really shiny hunt. That's my own fault, I guess, but okay, let's get out of this sandstorm. We have another town to check. I was shopping here, but we also need to check Lavencia. All right, this is the last shop that I haven't checked here. I just wanted to see what battle items and general goods they have. Okay, this is the same as the other store. 
Like, if you were looking for any of these items, it's in, uh, what was it, Cas Carfa? Whatever it is. If you just can't find it out in the wild, you can come here to get it, I guess. And then you just zoom on, zoom in all the way to check which stores are which. So I was going through to see those just eatery and food places. I haven't gone back to the auction place either. Any stores in Montana Vera? Oh, there is one. Oh, chance to supply. All right, I don't need that. I'm good without it. There's not many towns. And there's nothing here. Yeah, Kaskarafa. Or Kaskarafa. I don't know the correct, uh, correct pronunciation for it. It's just whatever. I think I checked m some or most of the shops. Uh, the clothing shops here. So yeah, I still need to go to Artisan. Nope, never mind. Nothing there that I'm looking for. Yeah, this place I haven't shopped at yet. We're gonna go here. Yes, I'm taking you shopping. Deal with it. I spent all game wanting to do my own little outfit. I'm having fun. All right, which one of these shops was it? This one is shoes. Okay, let's see what they got. I think it might be the same as the one I was already at. Oh no, these are sneakers. White, black. I got some purple and red stuff earlier. Where's the purple one? Uh, that's a little bright for me. Probably gonna go with the black. These are all, oh, they're uh, type ones too. Let's see, dark. I got a dark phone case. Okay, that could be for the red and black theme. What? That's the last pair we have in stock. Very popular. No. I don't need the rest of them. I'm getting these black tie tops though. I might get the red and purple ones. The red ones look okay. It's the purple ones that were so dang bright. I'll leave it for now. Let's see, where was another store? Straight up and to the right. Wait, was this it? Store, what kind of store is this? Picnic? No. Is that what that said? Oh, okay. I should have looked. Alright, let's go over here then. Oh, what was that? And putting in the necessary effort? Pokemon work real hard when they battle. The more battles they take part in, the more their efforts stack up. Are you talking about EVs? You want to know if your Pokemon have really been giving it their best effort? Which of your Pokemon's efforts do you want to check? How about Cloud Sire? Okay, I'll have a look. Looks like you can still give a bit more. So you're just going to tell me if it's maxed out. The rest of these are. Wow, that much? Well, I'm a boss, too. You've really worked hard. Here, I'll give you something to show you've put in a lot of effort. 
Oh, effort ribbons. Uh, let's give Skella Dirge one too. I don't really. I mean, kind of want to give the whole team a ribbon at this point. Let's give them all one. One at a time. One after another. They have been putting in a lot of work. They got me through a lot of the tough battles. Alright, who's left? Low Kicks is next, I think. And Espartha. Lastly, there you go. Probably useless, but whatever. So what's this store? Oh, these are bags. Uh, let's look at them, I guess. Oh, you got more than bags. Oh, you got shoes, gloves, bags, hats, and glasses. The heck are those? Monograms? Okay, at least I can tell what those ones are. Low top sneakers, black gold, burgundy gold, black and white, whoops. Oh, that's not what I was thinking of. Those are dress shoes. No. Leather gloves. I already got some of these. Anything else? Black. Orange and black, purple and black. They're so dang shiny. Why is everything so shiny? Is that just what I have to deal with? Well, oh, never mind. It said leather. I would rather have like material that's not so shiny. Black, white, white, black. What's the difference? Oh, probably. Yeah, just a negative. Red, blue. Oh, you got sweatbands. Anything else? Nope, just sweatbands. All right. Aviators? Nah, I'm not wearing these. I know people love them though. Alright, next shop. <clears throat> oh, uh... Hold on for a second. I wonder if it'll do this again. When I turned on the game earlier, uh, it's been sitting on standby for a while, but when I turned on the game, it started playing, uh some themed music that was pretty cool. So I'm just gonna be quiet and let you listen to it. This is gonna be for like 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. I'm just let it go. It's fine.
See, that wasn't too bad, right? It brought up a little bit of nostalgia for me. I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to share it. Who knows how many people actually mash the A button and don't get to hear it. And I have no idea when that started uh, playing on the title screen either. I'm assuming after I got hit the, uh, the credits. Oh, it's raining now. Gross. Is this a store? No. Alright, let's go to the next place. Probably needed to restart my game anyway. All the issues, this hardware, software, I don't know which it is. You know what else I didn't do? I never checked the bottom of this area. Like I said, I was going to do before. And look. What did I miss, huh? Oh, okay, that's not that important. Well, maybe this is more important? No. Alright, well... If you didn't have it, there it is. I keep getting distracted so much, I just... Forget about things. I think that's where I was, so... Where is the shop here? Right next to me. Ayano started out as a streamer quite a few years ago now. Just how old is she anyway? I don't know. She looks like probably 17 or something. She's very childish. Low top sneakers. Are these the same? No, I think they're different. Can we just get some normal looking ones? Okay. Maybe. Ah, oh, that's all. What about black and red, black, purple? That would be good. Driving gloves. Fingerless mittens. I'm not into these. All right, this is not the store for me. Beanie. Okay, I know the type of people that would like that one. I would go great with their uh, grass cat. Forgot what shit it's called. All right, next door. That's a supply shop. All right, three stores on this side. Uh, we already looked at them when I was looking for some black sludge. Is this a store? Okay. More mittens. Okay, they look kind of normal. They have branding on them. That should be fine. And they're cheap. Yeah, that's straightforward. I think I like the ones I had already, though. And that's all they got here. Retro jet helmet. Oh yeah, they got uh, helmets here for all your biking needs. A lot of helmets. Retro, Jet, Retro, Pattern 2. Fire and Water. Eh, if you're into this sort of thing, half helmet. Some special designs, racing helmets. There's some people that'll be into this. Not what I'm looking for, though. Two more shops. Let's see what they offer me. Alright, this one is bags again. 
Oh, and glasses. Yeah, we can check them out. Uh, I just went through this door. What's up with that, huh? Uh, okay. Awkward. Okay, these are bodyguard shades for sure. These shops are kind of laggy too. What about the red ones? Uh, the, the frame needs to stay black. Red and black, purple and black, black on black. That's what I go for. And since we're here, we can check the bags. I think this is the last place anyway. I was looking for regular shirts and stuff. It might be at the other store. Bag at the, uh... That's very normal looking. I like it. Yeah, these are nice. Okay, skeleton rib cage design. That's pretty neat. I like these backpacks. We'll get one of these. I get the purple and the black one for now. It does not match my outfit perfectly. I'll wear it now. Alright, let's go back to the city. Pretty sure I'm done here. Is that the last shop? Yeah, that was it. Unless I'm missing some other town somewhere. I'm, I don't know. Pretty sure I checked them all. These at a glance. go down. Rough and tough, chances to apply, fashion street, baggins. I'll take a peek in these stores just to see if they have any different shirts or something. Shirts and pants. I don't think I've seen any long pants yet. That's kind of what I've been trying to look for. Out of the way. Oh, that's picnic stuff. These are more bags. And I kind of know what I'm looking for now. Just people flicker in and out over there. Okay, we're going to Fashion Street to see what they got. That one got hats or glasses. Okay, these might just be socks. Yep, that's just socks. Well, I don't know where regular pants are. All right, let's uh, click a few of these things. I wanted just a black shirt. Like, why can't I find that? I got a Rotom case already. I don't really wear caps. Got the bag. It's this shirt that I want to get rid of. It's ruining the whole outfit. Oh, where's the yeah, black one? And then just regular socks, I think. Yeah. We can just go for old muted look.
How do I... How do I confirm? I don't need to change that. It's incomplete because I can't find the freaking shirt and pants that I want. Like I literally always, almost always wear all black. All right. Well, we can look like a weirdo for the rest of the uh, video. I spent enough time shopping. I'll look more some other time. Our team is fine, I think. We're just gonna go start up this tournament for the rest of the video. All right, I think I gotta talk to the receptionist dude. The Academy Ace Tournament. Yes, I would like to enter. A champion rank trainer, you right? Okay, you're all registered as a contestant. Please hold down the battle court. Or head down to the battle court. Oh yeah, I see some familiar faces. Excellent, it seems everyone is here. Me with my incomplete outfit. Some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. Oh, who's that guy? With the Jigglypuff apron. We have a new champion here at Yuva Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Master Vaxton. For real, that's amazing. Wayne hit. Wait, I can't read that. Buen hecho, muchacho. Way to go, champ. I butchered that language, I'm pretty sure. It gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the academy. Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Namona, or Namona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite all of you here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Oh, that lady in the back has the biggest smile. Looks a little weird. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed faculty. Now, without further ado, let the Ace Academy let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin. I'm going with both names. What a cop out. All right, let's jump right into the first round, everyone. Who will be? Who will the fates pair up today? Champion Vaxman will be facing Arvin from Class 2G. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, it's totally rigged. Up against my little champion buddy right from the first round. So how about it? Bet you're surprised to see me in this tournament, right? Oh yeah, why are you... How are you allowed in here? Aren't you Grace like, god-awful? Yeah, that's right. That dumbfounded expression is what I wanted to see. See, when we went down into Area Zero, it really drove home for me how I needed to get stronger. So I've been off doing some special, super serious training with my boss and my team. If we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. So today, I'm here to win, even if I might only be by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. Oh, new battle music. 
We were challenged by Pokemon trainer Arvin. Let's see what you get. What level is this? I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm not going so I'm going after this win without holding back. 67, alright, I got this whole tournament. Uh, I better not get paralyzed. No! Can I use items? Alright. Wow, I'm paralyzed and I'm still faster? What in the heck? I think it just killed itself. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Uh, oh yeah, I'm not, uh, switching. I couldn't find the battle set thing. But we'll just do what we do. Hmm. Uh, that's a fighting move, ain't it? Yeah. Alright. Rocky Helmet? Good, good. Alright, my boss stuff. I still need your Intimidate for later. Fighting, huh? The thing is a rock type. Wait, is it only a rock type? Yeah, it's pure rock. It, I'm pretty sure it has a ground move though. We'll see how this does. I can still kill it off. I just hope it does body press again. Oh no! Oh god! And a crit? I'm so sorry. Okay then. I can get rid of it. No screwing around, just kill this thing. I don't like this Pokemon. It's given me trouble too many times. Okay, he's planning to send out a fire type. I have two options here. Grass and fire. I can poison jab it. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. I'm saving Skulladurge. I wonder what coverage moves that thing has. Okay, I was worried I was gonna get burned. It's, un it's a miracle enough that he actually hit the fire blast. Oh, great. You have Zen Headbutt. <sighs> Please, poison it. Okay, that sucks. I need Claude Sire. I'm just gonna stay in. Oh, that's close. Yeah, that black sludge ain't doing enough. Need a lot more health back. Ground and grass. Okay, see, this is where Q the Watcher would come in handy, but, uh, yeah, it's like super dead. Ground and grass. Maybe if I'm lucky. Let's see. I don't even know if I can use items. Good god, I really want to use Swords Dance, but I don't trust... <laughs> you know it has coverage at this point. Just get the heck out of here. Ah, 
Alright. What's next? Cloister? I don't think I have... Can I try to brute force this? Let's go for it. Liquidation? I should survive that. And then... If I don't miss an axe kick, that's at least 70%. Okay. And now my boss stuff is in. I'll get minus one attack. Or I'll have plus one. I'm putting everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed. No leftovers after this meal. Wait, it's just a straight dark type. I can, I can leech life and survive. That's checkmate. Let's light up this school battle, Brahma Basta. Brighter than anybody. I don't think you're tanky enough to take on a plus one leech life with stab and a macho brace. GG. Do I get healed in between these? If I can help it, I don't want to use any items either. You tried your best, right? You're so strong and cool. I'm real proud to call you my best friend, you know? I'm not your friend. I, I say it every single time. He's delusional. And the winner of this first round battle is... Champion Vaxton. The professor's kid put up a heck of a fight. What a spicy start. And that's just the first match. <sighs> the strength of a champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. I'm not your little buddy either. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. You'd better just try as hard as I would have in round two for me. I think Nemona said I needed to battle four people to win. So three more to go. Next up is the second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup, so let's get to it. Champion will be facing. Jack the Biology Cheater. Uh. I'm flabbergasted. Hello, hello. I hear you went out to on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I've got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. I have no idea what he's gonna be using. We're challenged by Jack the Instructor. Okay, he's got his cool factor going. Arcanine already. Show me what you've got, in your own way and at your own pace. Is it a flash fire Arcanine? No, of course it's not. Intimidate. Uh, let's see, does Arcanine still have... I don't remember, did... Arcanine had close combat, didn't it? And Wild Charge, Flare Blitz, a bunch of stuff that makes me afraid. And Extreme Speed. Alright. Hmm. Let's go for Claude Sire then. I know it doesn't have very much defense, but if it Yep, there it is, close combat. Now that his defense is lowered, I should be okay. Like, I didn't want to switch to Skullidurge because I wanted the defense drop. 
And there's Flare Blitz. It's already minus one, so nothing to be afraid of. Wait, it can still burn me, can it? That is something to be nervous about. Alright, that's one down. What other cool Pokemon do you get? A oh, Mudsdale. You know, I've had trouble with rock and ground Pokemon in this series. And ice, I guess, to a certain extent. How am I gonna deal with this one? High horsepower is gonna hurt. And I've I cannot count on Claude Sire. Okay, we're doing this. That still did more than I wanted. know if it's going to do the fighting does does Muzzadil have a fighting move maybe it'll do does it have iron head I don't know much about this Pokemon close combat okay that's scary Can it do anything to kill a watch roll? Okay, maybe I can flinch this thing. Oh, I can two hit it. That's good. Please get. Oh god, you have stone edge. Of course you do. I can air slash it though. It's fine. Crit for insurance. A swallot. I don't know what he's up to with that thing, but I need to heal. Toxic? Yawn? Ice Punch. We're playing dirty. I cannot rely on Discharge Paralysis Chance. God, that was lucky. Let's see how Para Flinch works for me. I do have a King's Rock. Yeah, that's not gonna help you. It's kind of funny that it's bobbing its head up and down, because Kilo Watch was for flying type. <laughs> Alright, you're doing too much. I don't think it has any other option but to protect. What? You still got through that? Come on. That's just hit. Just let that thing through to spite me. And then it's gonna protect, isn't it? I'm gonna roost. Yep. Saw that coming. You're not gonna get that a second time, though. We're gonna have to switch out. Psychic. Oh, is Cloth Sire still alive? All right, that's good. No, wait. Psychic is. Uh, that's a bad idea. Um. I 
I guess I'll bring my boss stuff back out. Uh, does it have Scald? I should be concerned if I get burned. Oh, okay. Oblivious. Oh, it's a screener. Hmm. Let's go right for the crunch then. I don't have Brick Break anymore. I don't have Psychic Fangs either. If it had Light Clay, that's gonna be up for a while. Lorantis? I don't remember what that is. Oh, that thing. Alright, that's a bug. Bug in grass? It says poison jab is super effective. I can le I can set up on it. As long as I can oh wait. Bug does not resist bug, does it? This is a uh... Yeah, that's uh not the best choice, but I'll just get that life back, thank you. I didn't get to do Swords Dance, but that's okay. Light screen is gone. Oh, the psychic thing. Wow, you sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? Nah, it's... Well, I was gonna say it's just pure skill, but I'm not very skillful. Uh, what type is it gonna be? Psychic or... I doubt it's normal. It's probably psychic. So we can just leech life again. Just a little energy and there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. Yep, it went for the psychic type. Delicious. And a crit. Cheese. <laughs> you can't believe it, can ya? Wow, you did great. So, like, who's next? Naimana is not allowed to battle in this, I don't think. But the top champion is probably going to be in here somewhere. And the winner of this second round battle is Champion Vaxton. Heh, <laughs> you beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you? You're more fit for the teaching profession than I am with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jack, did I hear you correctly just now? Uh-oh, hi, Director. Are you angry with me? <laughs> Well, I'm going to go get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. Guess he wasn't supposed to say that. Finally, only four trainers remain. Time for our contestants to face their third matches, everyone. The third matchup of this for this battle will be Champion Vaxton versus Dendra, the battle studies teacher who made me exercise in a very weird and cringy way. Oof, new kid. This school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I'm so pumped up. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. And I hear you're the reason we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid, no, Champion Vaxton. As to teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher here, I can't very well lose in a battle, can I? I'm afraid she has fighting type Pokemon, and uh, I don't like that. So don't expect me to go easy on you, I'm going to give it all I've got. Okay, yeah, she's definitely a fighting type user. You're challenged by Dendra, the instructor. 
with a Phalanx lead. Vostov, get back out here. Get back to your ball. You're in danger. Let's have a good, clean battle, okay? Best of luck. Wait, wait. This is very stupid, but I'm gonna go for it. If I'm lucky, I won't die to a close combat. Okay. Its defense has fallen. It takes damage from Rocky Helmet. Now play rough the entire team. I got the bonus accuracy too, so I won't be missing either. Tauros. Oh yeah, that's a fighting type now. Uh, it has Intimidate. Well, there goes my attack. Oh, she has the weird looking one. What is up with that? I don't understand. Oh, it's not just a fighting type. Wait, hold up. I've seen this before, so I can check what what type this is. Fighting and fire? Okay, so it's that overused combination. Oh, but it's raining. Well, that's annoying. Fighting and fire. Alright, I... I guess Skeledurge's turn. You know it has a ground move. That's okay. Doesn't get to use it. Lucky me. Wait, what? Another Tauros? Are you allowed to do that? Wait, huh? What is that? Fighting water? What? What did they do to Tauros? Fighting water? Probably also is still a Toro, so stomping tantrum is a threat. If I can survive a hit, this thing's gonna die. Very painful death. This one has water attacks boosted. It's probably gonna go for a water move, but just in case it did, like a ground move. Raging bull. Okay. Arrow slash for discharge. Let's go for the flinch hacks. Or just the straight up kill. Metacham. Alright. So they have the regular Tauros that's fighting type. Then they have a fire one and a water one. That's a lot. I didn't think Taros was that much loved in this game. Halucha? Nah. The rest of her Pokemon are out food. Oh, come on. And I'm slower now. What is this accuracy? 95 and you miss? What kind of nonsense is that? Oh, it's faster than me. Okay. I'll give you that one. I don't remember how fast Halucha are. But that's a free switch in for a Sparta. 
time to melt your brain. Come on, bring out your last one. What do you got? Oh, it's probably Annihilate, ain't it? Oh, just a Hariyama. Okay. You've got real fighting, you new kid. The battles really stoked my fighting spirit. Okay, it's just the normal Hariyama. Aim to push past your limits day by day. Oops. Just getting in the character. Leave me alone. Stop laughing at me. No bully. Uh, at least the crown part of that looks cool. Like the belt around its head looks cool on Hariyama. I'll give it that. That's three down, one last trainer to go. I see you've honed your skills, new kid. Oops. And the winner of this third round battle is the champion. No way, I got crushed. But I still got something great out of this battle. This was a massive chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. That's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament and don't forget. Oos, oos, oos. These people have too much energy for me. There's one last match in this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce the two trainers who will be facing off to finally determine who's strongest in the academy. It's Champion Vaxton up against... Drum roll. Of course. A special guest joining our tournament, the top champion, Gita. Good day, champion. I had a feeling I would meet you in the finals. <laughs> There's no kidding. Honed strength against honed strength. Such a clash is what captures the crowd and makes their hearts race. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the chairperson for both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find this situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, champion, our battle will inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. Here we go, the final battle, as far as I'm aware. We're challenged by top champion, Gita. With her Esparta lead, it's gonna get crunched. Let us set an example for everyone, you and I. I'm not gonna screw around with trying to hone my claws. I know that thing has coverage. It smashed into me and started with Reflect. I'm scared. Oh god, I wish I had Break Break. Was that a crit? Oh god. That was lucky. Go my boss stuff. Alright, Go Goat. What can Go Goat do to my boss stuff? I'm actually not sure. It's setting up on me. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, and it has play rough. Okay, that's... I might just let my boss to go down here. I don't have a steel type. I do have Clod Sire. It's at plus one. Alright, my boss, if you did good. Let's give it your all.
hardcore thing. Alright, so Scarlet Dirge or Kilowatch Rocket, start setting up boost. Got a couple of options I can go with actually. Let's see what we get with Scala Dirge. Torch Song. Get that free special attack. She still has Reflect Up, I think. Oh, never mind. Avalog. Oh, that's a mistake. Okay, this is a repeat of the Pokemon League. Avalog is food. Turn it into a puddle. I'm in position to sweep at this point. Can Gambit. I'm pretty sure that's an evolution of Bisharp, right? Look at Supreme Overlord. Gain strength from the Fallen. Overheat. I'll lose my boost. I think I'm good. Let's go for another. Oh, yeah. Feels good. loser that's the water ghost type mode breaker doesn't matter I'm a full life shadow ball I'm faster than that thing that's surprising I thought it was like super speedy glamora her last defense. We'll make this match a fitting one for the finale. A grand spectacle. Poison and rock type. She's going to make it into a rock type. The last time it survived an earth power. Let's see if it lives to plus three. May you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glamora. If it lives, it's gonna give the worst overheat of its life. Bring it. That wasn't even a crit, it just died. Well, that's a wrap. The future of Paldea is bright indeed. Uh, unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament and thus the strongest trainer in the whole academy is Champion Vaxton. Yeah, cheer for me, I'm the best. You did it, you did it, as if you had any doubts. Oh, they're chanting my name now. I'm not saying that, because that feels a little too awkward. Is there more after this tournament? I'm not actually sure, like... The world domination thing was... Kinda taken care of already. And usually that's after... The, the Pokemon League, as far as I know? I don't- I don't know. I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off of any of the matches leading the way into the future while valuing our individuality. 
That is our motto at Yuva Academy, and the tournament truly lives up to our ideals. Now, I'm aware my speeches tend to get a little, shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up there. Now I turn the floor over to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. The friendly rivalry, rivalry of trainers, the cheering and encouragement from the crowd, I feel like these are the perfect ingredients for the academy, no, for the whole Paldea region to become more lively and energized. Champion Vaxton was far stronger today than he, when he took the Pokemon League's final test. You sure about that? It is clear that he strives to become better every day, even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not just by him, but by every trainer gathered here who aimed for new heights. And that the seeds for many more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of all your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gita. Now, alas, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But, this event seems to me to be a wonderful way to build rapport between faculty and students and inv invigorate the wider community beyond our walls. So... I hereby declare that the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event and will continue to be held regularly. Yeah, that 5 FPS cheering. You go, nurse. Woo, awesome. Director Clavel, you're the best. Maybe I'll join in next time, too. Oh my gosh, yes. This is everything I wanted. I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Naimana. Absolutely, I wouldn't miss it for anything. Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you again for joining us here today, and I hope you're all excited for the next one. Yay! Is that like an actual thing? Like, can I redo the tournament, or is that just, like, a story thing? I... my outfit is a mess. Vaxton, you did it! Congratulations on winning it all! I'm so happy, it almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arvin's stupid school battle brawl name. No bully. Don't bully him. Oh yeah, here's a prize. You got... the Sporty Cap Pokemon League. I don't wear caps, so that's useless. Thanks. Director Clavel told me that he got caught up in all the excitement and forgot to give it to you. So I guess you get the strongest in the school throne for now. Vaxton, keep it warm for me. I'm gonna be in the tournament next time and I'll be coming right for you. That's... That's only if I don't retire on top. You know, always number one. Whenever you feel like entering your tournament again, just talk to the- oh yeah, you can do it again. You know, I've relished every day since you've moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I didn't become your rival, you chose that on your own. I'm just a guy. I'm so glad I met you, I mean it. Uh, it's been great I guess. Come on, don't make me blush. Uh, let's not go there. Anyway, I'll be seeing you on the battle court for a good long time to come. I didn't ask for that attention. Oh great, now what? Oh. Hello, hello, this is Jack. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I sure am proud to have one of my students become the Academy's Ace. <clears throat> Mr. Jack. Uh, don't worry, Director Clavel, I'll get to the point now. Oh, is he still being scolded? I'm actually calling you to tell you that the highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We're getting report after report from Academy students about their Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're still a bit shorthanded. So, we were wondering if we could enlist your help, since you're the Academy's ace and all. How about it? Eh, if I can find the time, I'll look into it. Thank you, your Pokedex automatically records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to just take on a lot of these tough Terra Raid battles. But don't get in and over your head, even the Academy's Ace needs to be careful. 
I sure would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyway, we're counting on you. So I guess five star raid battles now? Because I've seen four star, but I haven't seen five star yet. So is that that? The map is cleared? I'm free to shop and go do whatever else I want. Another call when I exit the school? Like what's what's up now? Yo Mira. Uh I can't check the map. I guess that's it. I just need to check on one of these raids, I guess. And also find a shop that has proper clothing that I'm looking for. And I guess I won't know which shop is, uh... Oh. Guess I can't cross the river like I thought I could. I lost my train of thought because of that loading screen. I was talking about shopping or some other thing. I saw a den over here. I was going to go check on it. I'm assuming it doesn't matter what den it is. I might have to go to one of the stronger areas. I'm not exactly sure. They say they were cropping up all over the place, so I don't think the location matters. Just check any den. Alright, let's see. Is this a strong den? No. It's a low kicks that grew wings. Okay, here's another den. We'll check that. Oh, so Viper is here. Alright. I guess that means that Zangoose is nearby. Still finding areas I've never collected items from. This map is really big. There's the Zangoose. Let's go up top first. There's a couple of dens up here I can check. Oh, it was down here. This one is water. Oh, jeez. Alright, yeah, that's a bit threatening. I have Kilowatch rule, but I don't think that'll survive. And what other Pokemon are there? Okay, what's this item? Rock Blast? Okay, that would have been good like 20 episodes ago. Just a three. Wait, what was that? Potion. Oh, Ricorio, just in the wild, so that's where you were. Could have gotten you early. I'm the strongest in area one of the South Province. Oh, not anymore. Mind. Masquerade. Alright. So far, I've only seen one. Alright, what did I hit? You're a joke.
Watch where you're bouncing and stay out of my way. Is that a gimme ghoul? Yes, it is. A single coin. Oh, there we go. Another five star, but fighting Dragonite. Does Dragonite have any fighting moves other than Focus Blast? I guess it can, yeah, it can learn Brick Break. I don't know if you would specifically want a fighting one. Uh, any more nearby raids I could check? Wait a minute. Does it stop glowing when I check on it? Because the other ones were... Oh, okay, so they only glow if you haven't checked on them. Well, I know I'm not going to actually survive uh, this one, but I want to at least attempt it. I don't think I'm going to survive, like, at all. I think it was this one. The king. Alright, it's a water. Status moves are kind of useless. Magnezone might have been good if I had trained one. No good in special attack. That's just a shame, ain't it? Yeah, I never really had a grass Pokemon. Alright, let's try it, I guess. I don't think we're gonna get anywhere close to killing it, but let's see what happens. Open your eyes. Well, at least they have evolved Pokemon, but can Gambit. If I get a easy paralysis on it, nope. Uh, that Iron Head did way too much. Can't attack. Okay, there we go. Oh. What was I'm facing this one direction? What is going on? I should have just did Thunder Wave. Okay, that hurts a lot. Yeah, I'm still in danger. Uh, it's not even half life and it's doing that garbage already. I think taunt works on all of us. I don't know. Air slash? Is it gonna flinch? Oh, that does like absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna need like a powerhouse of a Pokemon. I saw that chunk of time disappear. This ain't happening. Like, 
kilowatt from your opponent is that way. Why do you... What is wrong with my bird? Alright. You get it to like half and... I guess I can manage that much. This is where you actually need uh, human teammates. Oh wow, 10 seconds? And I guess the next one will be 15. It ups by 5 every time. The problem is that it's a water type. Oh, that's a big bar. Okay. Oh, I have flying one too. That's not gonna help. Let's do it anyway. I think it just means a power boost. Like, is there some kind of special property with uh, Terra moves? Maybe if I had Terra Blast, it would do like a bonus damage or something? I don't know how this works. Well, you can't... Okay, this move pool is annoying. has taunt and torment that was a crit and I think it did like the tiniest sliver And it can't be status once it has the barrier. And Kilowatt was dead again. Poor guy. He tried his best. And then we all died again. The end. Okay, then that's definitely tougher. Let's go check on this gate. I'm pretty sure I don't have all of the pillars uh, removed, but that's something I'll have to do in my own time. All it is is just Arceus plates, as far as I know, which is fine. At least tell me how many more I need to get. Here in last sealed the ruinous tablets. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chain missing. I'm assuming there's supposed to be four chains. Which means there's four purple stakes across Peldea. And this is only the location of the one plate, which is probably poison because it's purple. So which means there's a thing. How many types are there? Like 18 now? So there's 18 of these hidden around the region. That's my assumption at this point. Let me go get a oh five. That's good. This one to give me go to get out of the way. I wanted the item. Plus four. That is good.
Well, I think we've had enough of this. We challenged a tier 5 raid and failed spectacularly. The so-called champion, the ace champion of the academy is just a scrub after all. We got lucky. So there's one thing that I haven't done yet. Well, a couple of things, but I've never done a picnic. You can enjoy picnics together with the Pokemon in your party. If you're playing in a group with friends, though, through the Union Circle, you can also have picnics with friends. You won't be able to set up a picnic table in the middle of a town or where there isn't enough space to get everything out or on inclines where things might go sliding off your table. Look for wide open level spots outside of towns when you want to picnic. Well, the whole team gets to like wander around, but... Let's see, you can, you can still crouch and whistle. Whistle isn't doing anything. Okay, that's throw ball. Oh, there it is. Now it's whistling. That makes everyone panic. All right. Let's see what else we got. You can recall Mira for some reason. I guess if you don't Mira to be out in the party. Well, ain't that nice. I think I can only have one of these balls out. How do you interact with these things? Wash? When your Pokemon get dirty, you can give them a nice wash to have them looking fresh and clean. Doing so can have all kinds of nice benefits, including restoring their HP or making them more friendly toward you. I know all of my Pokemon are completely dirty. They haven't been touched with soap in, like, ever. Turn around, I need to get your neck, whatever. That was easy. It's just gonna get dirty again in like three seconds. There's no point in washing Cloud Sire. Let's make one of these sandwich things. So I interact with the table. Uh, oh, you can. Choose a ball. I only have one. What can you decorate? Tablecloth? Yeah, I didn't do anything with this. So I don't have anything extra. We'll make a sandwich. Try whipping up a delicious sandwich by piling your favorite ingredients up on sliced bread. If you're picnicking with friends, you can take part in sandwich prep together as well. Sandwich ingredients and sandwich picks you need to put together are a great sandwich can be bought at several various shops found in towns and cities. Stock up on your favorite ingredients and picks and see what you can create. In recipe mode, ingredients are selected for you. All you have to do is skillfully arrange them on the bread to make the sandwich in the recipe. But if you drop an ingredient and don't get everything the recipe calls for, you may end up making something different. Dig in to a nice meal at a restaurant or picnic and, you, and your Pokemon can gain meal powers. Uh, many meal powers have an associated type, meaning they'll only affect Pokemon of that type. Well, that finally answers that question. The effects of a meal power will be impacted by what's in a given dish. 
Oh, uh, let's see there. We're likely to find Pokemon eggs. More likely to catch us will succeed. More EXP. More rewards. More materials. More likely to find Pokemon with titles. What does that mean? More likely to find shinies, large, small, and certain types. Again, whatever that means. I don't eat sandwiches, so like, none of this is... What do the numbers mean? Is that like the number of recipe? The recipe number? What is the simplest one? The simplest one that doesn't look awful. Just give me a couple slices of ham. No condiments. Alright. I'm assuming I can just make the ones that are lit up. This pick flies a red flag that lends an air of adventure. The flag itself is made of cardstock, so it'll fly proudly even with no wind. Pile on those ingredients. Do I have to take it? Oh. We got two pieces. There we go. Oh, I couldn't move it. Uh, okay. Finish it off with a pick. There. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that's awful. Uh, just give it to Mira. He'll eat it. It's still lopsided. No, I just vomited that up. There's no way I liked it. Kind <laughs> of tasty original. Yeah. That was awful. It was so bad that it put some Pokemon to sleep. Let's see, what else can I do? Uh, I think that's all. They're playing with themselves, so that's fine. I think all I can do is wash them. Oh wait, I can talk. Whoa! Okay, Skulladurge can fly. That was interesting. I'm just gonna talk to everyone. No, not you. Get back. I'm trying to talk to the lost of. Uh, low kicks. Did I talk to you yet? Everyone gets a turn. Uh. Okay, they're very bouncy. And you. You got demolished in that terror raid battle. You need as much help as you can get. I'm going to call it here for my adventure. I had fun with the game. And, uh, I've already discussed my thoughts about it. I didn't have many thoughts, but it is what it is. There are obvious issues with the game, but it's still fun. Okay, how dare you? I will stomp you into the ground, don't you dare. 
kicking that thing back at me. I'm being bullied by, by my whole team now. Yeah, we can watch them play for like a minute or something, but I think I'm done here. I don't know if there will be any more episodes of this. Maybe if something like interesting, maybe it's a request or something. I don't really do Pokemon battles anymore. I might just screw around with the game here and there. But I like the story. I like the uh, ending. There's no way I could have guessed that was going to turn out the way it did. Uh, but yeah, I don't have much to say. Like I said, I just play games. So with that said, hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to take my leave. And if there's another game or something, maybe I'll see you then. But uh, enjoy the rest of your night, day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Be well. Thank <laughs> you.